The werewolf is a staple of supernatural fiction, whether it be film, television, or literature. You might think this snarling creature is a creation of the medieval and early modern periods, a result of the superstition surrounding magic and witchcraft. In reality, the werewolf is far older than that. The earliest surviving example of man-to-wolf transformation is found in the Epic of Gilgamesh from around 2100 BC. However, the werewolf as we now know it first appeared in ancient Greece and Rome in ethnographic, poetic, and philosophical texts. These stories of the transformed beast are usually mythological, although some have a basis in local histories, religions, and cults. In 425 BC, Greek historian Herodotus described the Nuri, a nomadic tribe of magical men who changed into wolf shapes for several days of the year. The Nuri were from Scythia, land that is now part of Russia. Using wolf skins for warmth is not outside the realm of possibility for inhabitants of such. The werewolf myth became integrated with the local history of Arcadia, a region of Greece. Here, Zeus was worshipped as Lycaean Zeus, Wolf Zeus. In 380 BC, Greek philosopher Plato told a story in the Republic about the protector-turned-tyrant of the shrine of Lycaean Zeus. In this short passage, the character Socrates remarks, The story goes that he who tastes of the one bit of human entrails minced up with those of other victims is inevitably transformed into a wolf. Literary evidence suggests cult members mixed human flesh into their ritual sacrifice to Zeus. Both Pliny the Elder and Pausanias discuss the participation of a young athlete, Demarcus. However, werewolf stories show the idea has ancient origins. For as long as authors have been changing bad men into wolves, we have been looking for the biological link between man and action.